Peace. Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you back to the Five Playland. As always, I'm your Five Player. I wanted to make this video regarding the Mets selecting uh, Kumar Rocker in the first round of the draft. Um, my thoughts. Um, as many of you may know, I'm a Met fan through and through. Not the biggest as far as uh, scouting uh, baseball players, although I do um, try to scout as best as I could. But there's not a lot of video you can find on YouTube most times, and that's where I get um, the bulk of like the times I do scouting for the NFL. Mm -hmm. Having said all that, though, I do know who uh, Kumar Rocker was. Uh, I've known of him for quite a while. Watched a lot of Vanderbilt games. Um, because Vanderbilt's the shit as a uh, contending um, college baseball team. In addition to the fact that uh, Jack Ladder, Al Leiter's son, was uh, also on the team. I did um, have Al Leiter as a, I mean Jack Leiter as a better prospect because I like his mechanics. Um, Kumar has like a little bit of a high leg kick. But Kumar Rocker, I mean like... Um, it just seemed like a lot of uh, fanfare um, or like, like a lot of uh, clip worthy material could be get, gotten from him because of who his dad was as a football player. But the fact that I mean, like, um, let's be frank, you don't see a like Indian descent, like a uh, baseball player that often. So he was more of an attraction, if you will. And I think maybe that had to put him in a position where he had to deal with a little bit more. Having said all that, though, I mean, he never came apart in his three years at uh, Vanderbilt. Last year was a shorter season. I think maybe that took away from him. But for some reason, I did think that he was going to slide down the board. I just didn't think he was going to slide down to the Mets at, at uh, 10. But I thought he was going to slide down like to like 5, maybe. Because regardless of how you put it, I mean, like, um, Kumar Rocker is going to occupy a rotation spot for any staff in the league. I mean, in the, in, I mean, for any staff in the whole league. Um, I think he fits perfectly for what the Mets have in, uh, right now in tow. Like, you know, we already have Jacob DeGrom um, leading off the rotation. We're going to have a uh, Walker back next year. Um, maybe Kumar Rocker makes it to the, to the league um, late next year. Who knows? I'm trying to take this hair off this wall. I don't know. But um, for what the Mets need him for, I mean, he's perfect. Um, a lot of people said that he's his his ceiling is a number two um, starter. That's fantastic. I mean, we don't we may need him as a number four starter um, at this stage. You know, but um, he's going to be up in the league uh, really soon. The one thing, I mean, like a lot of people uh, did have uh, criticize him for was the fact that his ha his fastball was getting hit around a little bit more this year. Um, but his slider is dope. I love the way he uses the slider on um, both sides of the plate. Um, his fastball isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty good fastball. Um, he reminds me a little bit of um, Taiwan Walker. Um, the older version of Tyron Walker. That's still good. But uh, his changeup... I mean, he don't got great control of the changeup, but there's some, there's potential there. Um, I think he's going to uh, equate to being a really good uh, fastball slider with a semblance of a changeup pitcher. Maybe he could develop that changeup into something that he can control because it's not a bad changeup. But I think the Mets got a steal. I'm really pumped up for this. Um, you know, the fact that he drops down to number 10 in this draft when I thought he was going to go like two or three, to be frank. Nothing less than five. On top of that, I mean, he fits right into everything we need. I mean, it's it's a perfect fit for the Mets. I mean, I, I can see him being up by no later than like 2024. Um who knows? Maybe next year. I mean, like, uh, but the Mets recently have done okay, like, as far as uh, picking players out of college. Um, personally, I love uh, taking pitchers out of college, uh, especially when they play at a high level, like pitchers that play in Clemson or um, 
Vanderbilt for that matter. So I mean, it's gonna. I think it's gonna work out really well for us. Um, I don't know what they're gonna pay him, like, cause the stupid slot allotments that they have, or, or um, you know. Um, so I I do worry about what we're gonna be able to bring in, like, in the rest of the draft if we're gonna have to um, draft players due to signability, which I hate. But regardless, I mean, like, you know, these drafts are a big time crapshoot, especially the MLB draft. We have done well recently within our drafts. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't nuts about the Brett Beatty pick, but um, he looks the part so far. Um, but, you know, the Mets farm system is really top heavy with uh, Alvarez, the capture, Brett Beatty, the third baseman, Ronnie Mauricio. Um, I just want to keep adding to it, though. I mean, we're, we're not um, packed with a bunch of starters at the major league level. I mean, we have, we, we're have also top-heavy at the major league level as, star, as far as starters go. But um, our pitching uh, in the farm kind of sucks. I mean, like, we don't have much to pick from right now, like, I mean, unless there's, like, potential guys that I'm not aware of yet, but trading away a wolf, I mean, like, um, it leaves us just with, like, Allen, like, who's years away. Um, and Kumar, I, I think, could be in the league uh, before uh, Allen is even. So, uh, it's a good pick. I mean, like, it's a... I mean, I'm not going to make a draft uh, videos about the Mets, um after this pick or this year even i'm only making this video because of the fact that i'm astounded that he even dropped to the mets um you know a guy who i don't think is gonna have to face a lot of injuries because of the way he's built i mean and he has that pedigree too like his father was an athlete um we're pretty much getting like you know the first real big name Indian guy like to play baseball that I'm aware of at least and he you know in the New York market in Queens like you know with a lot of people that are of Indian descent um, within the borough of Queens I think it's a win-win I mean like um, I'm really excited about the uh, the state of the Mets in spite of the fact that we lost a stupid game um, today to the Pirates no less but you know um this kind of uh, brings a smile to my face, though I don't smile. But um, let me know what you guys think. Um, but I'm really excited about this. I mean, I would have liked Lighter, but I think Lighter, believe it or not, like um, was I knew what Lighter would, had zero chance of dropping to us. I thought neither guy was gonna drop to us. But um, Lighter, I could see him getting injured. Um, but Kumar's built. Um, for such a young guy, I mean, like, he, he, he just got, like, a little bit of a tank body to him, um, that I could see him, um, enduring a little bit more, um, in the long term, you know, uh, cross my fingers, but let's see how this plays out, uh, I give this pick an A++++, plus plus plus. I give his, fa I, I, and I'm gonna grade his pitches, I, I give his fastball a C plus B minus. I give his slider an A for a young guy. I think he his slider uh, could compete in the league right now. His changeup is like a C minus, uh, maybe D plus pitch. Um, all these could improve. Let's see. Uh, I mean, in learning under uh, the likes of the Grom. I mean, rising tides lift all boats, and hopefully that that's uh, applicable uh, with Kumar. Um, but. Um, I think, you know, we're already seeing, like, what the presence of the Grom has done for the rest of this rotation, and hopefully that rubs off on the whole team down to the farm system, and hopefully it rubs off on Kumar when he's in, you know, spring training this year, and when he eventually comes up to the major league level in years to come. But let me know what you guys think. With that, I'm out. Peace.